In this video, we're going to go over the 9090 bottoms up kettlebell carry and some of the variations we use. So, the first one we're going to do here is a one arm carry. So, it's going to be bottoms up here, so the kettlebell is pointed towards the ceiling. In this 90 90 position here, you can see a couple of 90 degree angles. That elbow wants to be shoulder height, forearm straight up, kettlebell overhead here. So, from this position, you're simply going to walk forward from prescribed distance, say 40 yards, switch arms, and then come back for that same distance, all right? So you don't want to squeeze the bicep when you're doing this, or you don't want to clench up with your fist. You want to have a firm grip, but we don't want the biceps taking over instead of the rotator cuff muscles here. All right, so keep that biceps quiet and soft. All right, and then another variation we'll do here is a two-arm version now. So same thing, both kettlebells are going to be bottoms up, elbows here about shoulder height. And same idea, you're going to walk forward for that prescribed number of, uh, of the distance here, the prescribed distance. All right, so we put those down. The common mistakes we'll see here is people struggle to keep that elbow up, and so what they'll do to compensate is they'll arch their back into it, all right? So instead, you want to keep that anterior core raised, neutral neck position here, try to keep that elbow up. If you do find that that elbow's dropping, what I prefer people to do is actually stop where they are, take the weight down, rest for a few seconds, reset, get to a good position, and finish with good form, all right? I don't want you to have to compensate by arching your back to keep that elbow up, all right? So I'd rather you finish the set with good form than try to rush through it all at once and you risk doing it with poor form that will ingrain bad habits.